the top three cities to invest in for cash flow in central Illinois. As interest rates have gone through the roof and maintenance has gone through the roof, literally, and insurance rates have increased as well, cash flow has become ever more elusive to investors. And so people from around the country are searching for cash flow. The coast can't cash flow for the most part now. And so people are coming back to the Midwest and here in central Illinois, we've had investors from around the country investing because they can still cash flow even with the interest rates. So if you want to find out what the top three cities are in central Illinois to cash flow, then stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Jay Lehman. I'm a licensed realtor here in Champaign, Illinois, which is in the central part of the state. And I not only help people with their personal residences as far as buying and purchasing those and selling those, I help a lot of investors. In fact, two thirds of my clients are actually investors and I invest in rental property and apartments myself. So I know what the three best cash flow markets are. So let's get started right now. Number three on the list of best cash flowing cities is Rantoul, Illinois. Rantoul, Illinois is an old military base town. In fact, Chinook Air Force Base used to be located there until the early 90s. But it has great proximity to Champaign-Urbana, which has a population of about 150,000 and also has 50,000 students on campus with the University of Illinois. And lots of people in Rantoul work in Champaign-Urbana. So let's break out some facts about Rantoul. Rantoul has 12,000 people and a median house price is about 114,000. The median income is about 42,000 and the median house price has gone up about 8.7%. And the lower the house price is, guys, the higher the rent to price ratio is. For instance, if I buy a $200,000 house in Champaign and I only can rent it out for 1,200, that's a pretty sloppy rent to price ratio, meaning it's not gonna cash flow. But if I buy something for 114,000, or $100,000 in rent tool and it, or, or it rents out for $1,200, that's a better rent to price ratio because I'm getting more rent per the dollar that I spend on the property. So number three is Rantoul. Number two is Decatur, Illinois. Now, and it is an old industrial town. Decatur is actually a decent sized city at about 67 to 68,000 people. Their median income is about 45,000. You can see it's just under that two multiplier for median income to median home price, which makes it a favorable rent to price ratio, meaning that if I buy a property for $80,000 in Decatur, I could probably rent it out for, you know, a thousand or 1100. And that's a better rent to price ratio than Rantoul. Hence, we're at number two here. So there's more to break down about that, but it's about 67,000 people. And it's appreciated actually at 10.1% year over year. So some of these cash flow markets do actually appreciate some as investors are coming in the market, fixing up the properties, the rents are going up and there's a higher standard of living all all around. Now, things to know about Decatur is still have some great industry there. ADM is a huge soy factory as far as uh, soy products goes. I mean, Decatur is known as the soy capital of the world. And some people would say that Decatur has a certain smell about it when you go there from all the soy factories. It used to have some more industry like Firestone. I think Caterpillar used to be there and have a bigger footprint there. Now it's a little bit less, but it is a blue collar town that can provide a strong rental basis for anyone looking to cash flow. Number one on the list, and one that I am particularly fond of that I think a lot of people should look into is Danville, Illinois, the number one cash flow market in the central Illinois market. Some people would say in the entire nation. I've seen other YouTubers say this is a great market to invest in. And part of it is the median home price compared to the median income. The median home price is about $67,000 where the median income is about $40,000. And so just over the 1.6, 1.7 times the median income, you can actually buy a median priced home. Well, you can also get investment properties for 35, 40, 45, $50,000 there that rent for 700 to a thousand dollars now that rent to price ratio is very very strong and so it's attracted a lot of out-of-state investors to this town that was also an old industrial town in the 80s the general motors plant there that created vehicles employed a lot of people two three thousand people and what ended up happening is that plant closed down and ever since then the population has been declining 
but the cash flow opportunity is still there. You can cash flow there even with these interest rates. It's about 29,000 people in Danville and it has appreciated at a decent rate, 6.5% over the year. Again, some people have this notion that markets that cash flow don't appreciate and that's not 100% true. We've seen Rantoul, Decatur, and now Danville appreciate at a decent clip for a Midwest town. Now, I will give you a couple caveats. First off, it's not all about cash flow. It's not about how low you can get a property priced at, right? I mean, you want to find great deals, but you got to rely on a professional that knows these markets. I've helped myself and other people invest in all of these markets. Number two, you got to have a great property management. You're probably not going to manage these properties yourself because you probably don't live in Danville, Rantoul, or Decatur. If you do, great, go ahead. But if you're not going to be there and you're not going to be in the area and you're going to be an absentee owner, you have to find a great property management company. And I have a great property management company for Danville, Illinois. And so that's where I tend to like to invest because I think the returns are great. And there's always out of state investors that are looking for cash flow. So we help people buy, sell, and invest in Danville, Illinois, but I've also done transactions in Decatur and Rantoul as well. So if you're looking to cash flow, you can always invest in Champaign Urbana, but your cash flow will probably not as be as good as Rantoul, Decatur, or Danville. And if you're looking to get into cash flowing assets, would you like, would you subscribe to this channel? Because I break down all kinds of things when it comes to real estate on this channel. And I think I can give you a lot of value. And if you're looking to purchase an investment property or sell your investment property in Central Illinois, please reach out, leave a comment. I have my website here as well. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to be your investment income property specialist. Take care.